What's up guys, it's November 28, 2011. This is One Question Day and I am Pete Moss. And my YouTube vacation is officially over. Yes, I took like a two month vacation from YouTube, kinda to keep from getting burnt out on it. And also at the start of football season, about two months ago, I bet on football a lot and I do like consultation. I tell people what to pick so their bookies don't beat them to death and take all their money. And sometimes I make a little money off of it. It's it's pretty cool, but I'm like 85% on NFL this year. Not bad. Anyway, so like I said, I took a couple months off, starting back up actually on my one of my other channels, Boo the Monkey channel. Yes, I have a pet monkey. If you've never seen it before, Boo the Monkey channel, I'll put a link in the description. Posted two new videos last night and this morning on his channel. Um, on my main channel, The Pete Moss Show, we do you know funny stuff, Torment Tuesdays, the probably the best videos that we have on there. One of those was actually picked to be on Prank next season. Pretty excited about that. Uh, actually really happy, thanks to MTV and the people that made that happen. That was like, when you get noticed at that level, you know, that's pretty good and very motivational to make me want to make more funny videos. And the video we did that to was my son Ty, his friend Johnny, he's at our house every weekend. I had to give a special thanks to Johnny's nipples. You know, he was asleep, I put the super glue on his nipples and we super glued his fingers to his nipples. It was freaking hilarious. Special thanks to Johnny's nipples. So, today's the first one question a day I've done in like over two months. So, I, I looked at the CNN website and I was like, hmm, let's find something to talk about. What would be a good one question a day? And the first thing that popped up was Herman, Herman McCain. Another woman has come out, she apparently had a 13 year affair with him. I don't know how many women have come out against this man, but apparently he can't keep his dick in his pants. Herman, you're not going to get to be the president. Talk to Bill Clinton, he'll tell you like, Herman, you've done went way, way too far. Personally, I think <clears throat> instead of being president, Herman McCain should concentrate on his marriage, but he probably don't give a fuck about it very much considering how much he's cheated. And that's really all I have to say about Herman McCain other than you're not going to be the president, brother. It just ain't going to happen. Uh, something else was big in the news that Cyber Monday, Apple kicked ass. Wow, really? Stevie Wonder would have seen that coming. No, no, no pun intended towards Stevie Wonder being blind, but you know what I'm saying. Like, who, everybody knew Apple would do good on Cyber Monday. Um, just, and something else I see in the news, the Pakistan uh, Prime Minister was basically saying that relations with the U.S. are in jeopardy because of the accidental bombing. Uh, from a, a NATO plane. I didn't actually see what exactly what happened. I just know he was talking shit saying that the relations with the U.S. are in jeopardy. Really? The the Prime Minister of of Pakistan is going to talk shit about the U.S.? Uh, newsflash to the, the dude in Pakistan. The Pakistan needs the United States way more than we need them. So, you know, if that's how you feel, fuck you. And I'll probably speak on on behalf of most of the American people, if that's really how you feel. I honestly, in my opinion, I think that the president of Pakistan and, and the military knew where Osama bin Laden was the whole time. They were hiding him. So, like, as far as I'm concerned, we should have been done with Pakistan a while, a long time ago. So, like, the, the funniest, what I want to have, I like to have fun with one question of the day. Is Molly Cyrus a stoner? That's basically today's one question of the day. Over the weekend, there was a birthday. Kelly Osborne threw a birthday party for her, and her birthday cake was an image of Bob Marley. And I watched the video. Molly Cyrus said, "You know, that's how you know you're a stoner when your friends give you a birthday cake that looks like Bob Marley." She basically admitted to it. So, you know, her people wouldn't respond to it. Like her agents and stuff wouldn't respond saying whether she was or what and they didn't want nothing to do with it so that's today what do you think molly cyrus smokes weed you know uh kelly osborne posted some stuff on twitter that you know molly's making music and she's working on her career and she's continuously working and you can't be a stoner and do that um kelly osborne i can correct you on that one look at your dad he stayed high for years and turned out great music you know, I have personal friends that smoke pot on a daily. Every day they smoke weed. And they're probably better at their job if they get a chance to smoke some weed before they do it. That's just what I think. may not apply to everybody, but some people it does. Um, you know, we've all seen the video of Molly smoking the salvia. And, you know, I would never. I've tried that stuff one time. I think it's about the same thing as huffing gas, in my opinion. This is not a good thing to do. Don't recommend it. But, yeah, there's a good chance she's smoking some weed and putting some visine in and going out and doing her thing. Maybe her music sounds better to her when she's high. I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> so, yeah, I think Molly Cyrus is definitely probably smoking pot 
Uh, she's out in LA. I don't know if you've ever been to California or smoked the weed from LA. The medical marijuana, that's not medical marijuana. That is really, really strong, really good marijuana they have in California. And if that's what she's smoking, wow, that's impressive for her to keep working like that. So that's today's one question of the day. Uh, if you want to comment on the Herman McCain or the, the Pakistan stuff, if, if, if you have, like, if you're from Pakistan and you live in America now, five feet, and you, sorry, but you're the Prime Minister of Pakistan shouldn't have been talking shit. That's just, that's just my opinion, you know. He should be kissing ass to the United States because they need us. And not to get sidetracked, but, to, you know, if you want to leave a comment about Herman McCain, maybe you know of another woman that hadn't come out yet that he was at least trying to lay the pipe to. He's not going to be president. But, yeah, I think that she does smoke weed, Molly Cyrus does, and maybe she smokes with Billy Ray now. She is a grown-up now. She's 19, 20 years old. That's a grown-up and she's worth like a billion dollars if she wants to get high she can all right that's one question a day that is my opinion i will see you guys tomorrow leave some comments if you want to check out boo the monkey channel or the peep mall show the torment tuesday i will leave the links in the description i will see you guys tomorrow peace